Viewer discretion advised. Hello everyone, welcome back to Couch Co-op. Hello. Oh yeah, he's like, it's too fucking hot, man. I'm not doing any magic. Oh, is it summertime now? Yeah. What's, what is the season whenever you first get into this level? Spring. Hmm. And then I just unlocked fall, so... And he's complaining it's too hot? Yeah. Because yeah. we're in summer. So he's like, it's too fucking hot, man. Oh. See, it's weird that everything is... Looks like it's dying. Mm-hmm. I guess because this is a really hot summer, I guess, is what they're trying to play it off as. I guess. Or like there's not as much water in summer or something? I don't know. Because this plant right here, you gotta you gotta keep watering. See this guy? Yeah. Remember how he beat the fuck out of him? He's like, oh no, it's you two again. Go oh, he wow. thought he was safe here. Bam! Will you stop doing that? <laughs> Took me ages to find more water. <laughs> so now in fall, when that plant's in full bloom, we uh, we water it one more time, and it gives us a jigsaw piece. That poor camel. I know, he just wants fucking water, man. That's all he wants. And we're just assholes. Oh, god damn it. Hey, you missed the Caterpie. I missed him. So you're really enjoying your art? I am very much enjoying my art. Like, my focus currently, when it comes to actual art, because hmm. I feel confident enough with, like, landscapes and stuff. Yeah. But I want to branch out to, like, character art, like, making character designs. Like, as you saw with some of my sketches, I'm working on an original character kind of thing, like, just working on character concepts. Oh, fuck! Oh, man. You know, this bear has been through a lot of shit for his sister. She better do all the chores when they get home. <laughs> but no, like, I'm, I'm trying to really focus on uh, character and uh, figure drawing and just the human shape in general. Yeah. Um, so I've been watching a lot of videos on it. Oh my god damn it, fuck you. That's uh. what you get for being impatient. Ugh. And just like Dark Souls, you gotta start all over. Yep, that's true. Note totals 24. How many notes do we have? Because I am very curious. I'm sure we have enough. What's our total total? Where do we... We have a, we have enough notes to go fight the final boss, but do we want to do that? I say we do. All right. Well, before we do that, then I need to go back to Treasure Trove Cove real quick and put in a code. I need to. Uh, um. We unlocked the code to be able. To, um... Double the feathers? Yeah, there it is. And then if we have enough jigsaw pieces, we can double them further. Because there's special puzzles you can unlock. Really? If you have enough jigsaw pieces. Oh. It gives you double life, double feathers, double eggs. So, like, those are the true completionist bonuses. Yeah. But, what's in here? Time to find out. Huh. Well then. Nothing. Wait a minute. Oh. 
Here I am. I'm like, where the fuck am I? <laughs> I was so confused. And that was that. Where is the... I know that there... Oh, here it is. Wow, that's so hard to find. Yeah, I was like, I know there's a pot down here somewhere. Let me in. Give me the pot, damn it. Yeah, I have a license. I do not. Dude, did you know you have to go through so much bullshit to get a license for medical marijuana? Yeah, I imagine you would. Just because medical marijuana is legal doesn't mean they're just going to give it to you. I just find it crazy because they'll push opioids and shit on, on you like it's water. Yeah. But then, uh, but then weed, they're like, oh, no, no, no. Yeah. No. Yep. That shit'll kill you. But yet you have, like, Martha over there who's, like, addicted to her opioid medicines. Yeah. Yep. It's pretty fucked up. But you like, see, Big Pharma can't make a lot of money off of weed right now, so... No. Why would it be easy for you to get it? They would if they just legalized it. If they just legalized it for, like, everything... And that'd be fine. Like, I keep telling people all they have to do is... Get cancer. Get cancer. And then you can get weed. Like, I mean... All the weed you can want. <laughs> yeah, just just the cost of your life. But no, um, a good way to fix it would be... let pe let The government just needs to let people grow their own. But what they need to do is if you want to grow your own weed legally apply for a license to grow and then the government gets a percentage of whatever profit you make I think it's fine just having um, legal dispensaries because then you get really high quality you get you know it's controlled and they can get taxes off it and you have people that go back there Every day, not the um, not for the medical stuff, but just the recreational ones. Like the recreational drug users, is where they make so much money because they will have regulars in there every single day, spending really? yeah, spending hundreds and hundreds of dollars. Just that one person. Damn. But those are like the really big like druggies and drug heads and stuff. I think it was um, Colorado or whoever, one of the states, one of the pioneering states that had it legalized, mm -hmm. like for recreational use. They have so many taxes, they have so much money from taxes that they legally have to spend it on like schools and shit. Really? Yes, because the state can collect so much taxes just for them, but then if they get over so much, they have to spend it on public works. Well then, shit. Why doesn't every state do that? Illinois yeah. needs it because Illinois is trash. Yeah, I know. We have no budget. You ever seen uh, Adam ruins everything? Yes, I have. They I did, like him a lot. Yes, they did um, a thing on uh, marijuana. Yeah, like the only reason why it's even illegal is because uh, Reagan basically called it the devil's cat, uh, cat, uh, cabbage, or whatever, and yeah, deemed because... it deemed it bad for you. It's because, I forget his name, um, he couldn't legally go after all the immigrants and all the, like the minorities, mm -hmm. but, he, but he can go after the weed, and he could tie the weed to the immigrants. Yeah. It's pretty fucked up. And then ever since then, everyone believes that it's like the worst thing for you. Yeah, I know. It's like worse than alcohol. Yeah. Worse than meth. Like... Worse than cigarettes. Yeah. But, like, cigarettes and alcohol kill you on a daily. And... Those are perfectly legal. <laughs> Tobacco companies will fucking, like, push lobbyists to pass any regulation that they want. Yeah. That's what they did against, uh... Um... Uh... Vapes. Really? Mm-hmm. They, um... Because vaping is hugely popular. Vaping was taking away from the business of the, uh... Uh, Big Tobacco. Big Tobacco. And, uh... They didn't like that. No. So then... What... So then they put it... They, they basically pushed as hard as they could to make 
vapes have the exact same regulations, if not a little bit higher regulations than cigarettes. Really? Yep. So like we need what? one, two, three, four, five jigsaw pieces. Uh I only saw that one. I didn't see the others in the bottom. We need five jigsaw pieces. Well, so. we might as well go back to that level and complete it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because here's the one room. Your sister is literally right there. Yeah. Well, no, your sister went home, remember? Oh, that's right. Yeah. So, yeah, we have to go get some more jigsaw pieces. Mm -hmm. So we might as well just go... So, so yeah, you almost need to get all the jigsaw pieces at least. Oop, don't want to go that way. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, goddamn camera. The camera's like, you know what's a good idea? Let's change angles at the most inconvenient time. So, I understand that it's a pretty horrible voiceover. But I kind of wouldn't mind trying the original Resident Evil. Oh, yeah. My well, hair is pretty good. I've never played it, but so many people just have a nostalgia boner for that game. It's because apparently it's really good. But, like, I'm not a fan of the original three Resident Evils. Really? Because of the camera and tank controls. Oh, yeah. I mean, they're true. good. they're good games. I will not knock their quality. For what they are and for the time they came out in, they're good. Yeah. But me as a player, I do not like the tank-like controls and the and the fixed camera angles. Now mm -hmm. the fixed camera angles I can understand because you want if you if you fix the camera angle, you can force the player to see exactly what you want them to see. Yeah. So uh, you can make the, the the scare factor like like really good yeah i don't personally like that because like i will sit there and the camera will just like be changing on oh, me oh yeah if i'm in like that transition yeah. area because you're like just in the right you're just on that line to where yeah. the camera's switching so i don't like that the tank controls p annoy me now what do you mean tank controls like they're just sluggish and they're slow. super sluggish and slow really and um on top of that I have a hell of a time trying to figure out where I'm aiming at. Oh, yeah. Because, like, because it's not over the camera. It's third person. Like, yeah. So it's just... I, I see why people like them. They are good games. I will not knock them in their quality. But... You hate the controls. Yes. See, I've never played them at all. I've never played those. I've never played... Um... I know more about the original Silent Hill than I do about Resident Evil. And you see, that's a game that I want to play, is the Silent Hill games. Whenever I was a kid, watched my friend play them, they were scary as hell. Really? Pyramid oh, Head apparently yeah. is like... Like, nightmare fuel. Yeah. The only thing that I remember of Silent Hill is my, I watched... Um... The movie adaptation with my mom one time. Oh, but that sucks. Yeah, so that's like the only thing of Silent Hill that I know. I know they're super puzzling. Yeah. Like they're heavy on puzzles. Yep. Another thing that scared me as a kid is the fact that they're DOS games. So the draw distance is really short. Like they're, it's relatively small and it's covered by fog. Like that's how they get around the, um, the draw distance is everything's foggy. Mm -hmm. So you have these like super creepy ass bats and demons and scary shit oh. literally just coming out of nowhere and you can't see them coming they just phase in oh, because they just come out of the fog sucks. like i said that game is really scary at least when i was a kid it was and i'm sure it hasn't gotten better because i don't like scary stuff you so know. the fact that it's not there and then it just appears like that um I saw a... I was watching a YouTube video on, like, Dino Crisis or whatever. I have that. Do you? Mm -hmm. I think oh, it's... Oh, no, it's Chrono Cross. My bad. Yeah, Dino Crisis is, like, survival horror with dinosaurs. Yeah. And there's apparently a scene where a T-Rex or something, one of the bigger dinosaurs, they bust through one of the 
observation windows. Mm -hmm. Well, what's really scary to me, even to this day, is because it's a DOS game, it doesn't render past the window. So all of a sudden you see this massive ass creepy dinosaur just come out of the darkness. Fuck. And then it just disappears after um one after once it hits that um out outside the window. Mm -hmm. Like it comes out of the window into the room. And it's just like the top part of it. Uh, I think that no. That is Snapchat. But so the um the dinosaur is just half in the room and the other half of it is just disappeared. Really? And like because it's, like I said it's DOS, it doesn't render all of it. So to me that's just the scariest thing for some reason. And Silent Hill is like that a lot. Because it's like I said, because it's a DOS game, the render distance isn't that great. So you have these creatures pop out of the fog. And it's just uh, really scary. I got you. The only... I played Resident Evil 2 one time on the... Uh, I remember renting it on my PlayStation 1 back in the day. Okay. And I never beat it because I was probably like fucking 11 when I played it. And the opening... Like, the game just scared me so bad. Hmm. What? My timer stopped for some reason. It counted down for three seconds and then stopped. Oh. So do you want to call it and start up again? Yeah, let's, um, let's do that. So the next time on Couch Co-op. See everyone later. Bye.